Hi, thanks for tuning in to the Suburban Toronto Real Estate Sales Report. I'm Debbie Gonan Braun from Team Gonan at Raymax About Town. At Team Gonan, we specialize in residential real estate in Oakville, Milton, and Burlington, Ontario. Today, I'm going to discuss the September 2010 sales results for these three areas. Just a reminder that I use information from two sources the Oakville, Milton, and District Real Estate Board, or OMDREP, and the Realtors Association of Hamilton, Burlington, uh, or Hamilton Board, when compiling my statistics. The September highlights are as follows. The real estate market continues to remain slower, with all three towns or cities showing a decrease in sales year over year. There were 640 total sales reported on OMDREP for the month of September. Now this is down almost about 23% from September 2009, but it's also down about 5.2% since August 2010. Uh, there were 1,046 total sales reported on the Hamilton board, which is down 13.48% when compared to September 2009 but it is up 2.75% from August last month. Listing inventory continues to increase on OMDREP, with 1,310 new residential listings appearing uh, on the board for the month of September. There were also many more new listings uh, reported on the Hamilton board this month, with a total of 1,779 homes hitting the market. Although the average sale price in Oakville did drop by about 2.49% um, since September 2009, it is higher than both the average um, prices in July and August of this year. Residential average and median prices in Milton are up year over year, but down slightly when compared to August 2010. The residential average and median prices in Burlington are up year over year, and September saw the highest average price so far this year and the second highest median price year to date. The real estate market has changed and there is a definite swing towards a buyer's market. With lots of homes on the market now, buyers certainly have plenty to choose from. I've used charts to compare results for each town and city. Again, just a reminder that I'm not only comparing this year's results to last year, but I'm also reviewing those back to 2008. In the chart, the ivory color are sales in Oakville for 2008, the purple those in 2009, and the blue are for this year. For September, the sales show that residential sales are down about 32% from last year and down also from 2008. The average sale in uh, the average sale price in Oakville for September was 550961. Now this is down about 2.4% when compared to September 2009. It is up over September 2008 and as you can see, it's higher than the average sale prices in both July and August of this year. As I always mention in my videos, I like to look at the median price because to me it's a truer indicator of where the market actually is. Uh, the median price for Oakville for the month of September was $460,500, up um, over September 2009 by about 3.8%, and as well as up over September 2008, and as you can see, up again over the median prices for both July and August of this year. The number of residential sales in Milton for the month of September was down 19.5% from September 2009. Milton's residential average price for September was 395310. Now this is up 7.8% over September 2009 and it's almost flat when compared to August this year. 363500 was the median price in Milton for the month of September. Again, this is up 4.8% year over year but down slightly from August uh, last month by about 1.49%. Like the other areas, Burlington sales are down year over year, with 237 residential sales taking place in September, and this is down about 20.5% when compared to September last year. The average pr sale price in Burlington for September was 408961 and this is up over both 2008 and 2009 and amazingly it's the highest average price we've seen so far this year. The median price in Burlington was 365362 which again is up over both 2009 and 2008 and it's the second highest median price we've seen so far to date. So what conclusions can we draw from these results? Well, like the last few months, the number of sales of residential homes is generally down when compared to 2009. Listing inventory remains quite high, so we're beginning to see the market swing in favor of buyers, and I would expect that we would continue to see a stabilizing of both the average and median prices, and although there may be some slight increases or decreases by month, the market is basically correcting itself from the craziness of earlier this year. This is great news for buyers, as there are far more homes on, um, available to choose from, and you can now take your time to, uh, to choose the ideal home. 
What to do next? Well, if you're a buyer that's looking to buy a home within the next few months, I would recommend that you attend one of our latte and learning sessions where we offer free home buyer workshops. It's critical that you understand what the market is doing and what advantages there are for you. Not only will you have a great cup of coffee, but at this workshop you will learn about the entire buying process as we discuss all the details from start to finish and we have presentations from all sorts of people involved in the process. The home buyer workshop info can be found under the buyers tab at the top of this blog site. If your plans involve buying a home in the future, let's say within the next 6 to 12 months, I would recommend that you start to get home lists sent to you free by email. This way you can learn and watch to see for yourself what the real estate market is doing. Again, go under the buyers tab on the blog site and you can select which home lists you would like to receive. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to the Suburban Toronto Real Estate Sales Report for Oakville, Milton and Burlington, Ontario. My name is Debbie Gonan-Braun from Team Gonan at Remax About Town. Have a wonderful day.